Welcome to the future of cars, or at least one vision of it. The Smart Vision EQ42 concept cruised along the Las Vegas Strip at CES with no pedals, no steering wheel, and some rather funky lighting. One day, city transport could mean hailing driverless electric cars like this. Both the Consumer Electronics Show and the Detroit Auto Show happen in January, so although 2018 is only a few weeks old, we've already seen what car makers, big and small, see as being the important trends. CES is all about tech and looking forward. Automakers use it as a chance to tell the world they're serious about electric cars and even more determined to make driverless cars a reality. The flashiest unveil came from a Chinese startup called Byton. Its car is heavy on flash, like a giant 49 inch screen all the way along the front, and cameras instead of side mirrors. But underneath all that bling, is a very reasonable and believable electric car, with a similar range to a Tesla, a popular SUV body style, and a starting price of $45,000. It's the first real smart device on wheels, so the first real connected and smart car. And we go right away from the beginning to an affordable price point, the range of 45,000 US dollars, which create volume. Volume means economy of scales, volume means quality, and that will give us a very good and stable position in the market. If Byton succeeds, it'll be the first Chinese car American buyers actually want, and it could open the door for many more. Car fans will recognize the name Henrik Fisker. He designed the Fisker Karma back in 2008, a beautiful electric hybrid, which could have been a Tesla competitor if production had survived the Great Recession. Now he's back with a $130,000 Fisker E-Motion with stunning lift-up doors. He's doing some detailed engineering work to see if they'll make it to reality. He's determined that the fully electric drivetrain is the future of the car. Well, first of all, I want to attract the people that are sitting on the fence to get an electric car. So this car has 400 mile electric range. Second, we are want to be edgy. We're, we're, we're not conformist. You can see it with the doors, you can see it with the design. You know, people that buy our car, I think is people who's looking for something that is on the edge of technology, on design, and you can see that all over the vehicle. That's really who we are about. Over in Detroit, Ford, long lagging on the EV front, has announced it'll offer 40 electrified vehicle models from 2020, but that does include hybrids as well as 16 pure electrics. But the company's big unveil was the 2019 Ranger, a new, slightly smaller pickup. Because for all the talk about Tesla and co, the reality is EVs make up less than 1% of new car sales. Pickups are where the money is at, and automakers are going to cash in while they can. Detroit is Motor City, and 2018 is all about the truck. Dodge took the wraps off the 2019 Ram 1500, which will have a modern 48-volt hybrid system supplementing the V6 or V8 so that the company can claim it in the ranks of the electrified. The Ram also makes use of aluminum to make it lighter weight, something that Ford pioneered with the F-150. Mercedes contrasted the smart city car demo at CES with a glitzy reveal of a new G-Class, which looks super butch and has grown a little from earlier versions. It makes no apologies for being a go-anywhere, do-anything SUV with a 4-litre V8, but it is lighter, also using aluminum and high-strength steel. And although the future might be autonomous and electric, there's still time for some all-American muscle. This is the limited edition Ford Mustang Bullet, marking the 50th anniversary of the classic Steve McQueen movie. You can get it in any color, as long as it's dark highland green or shadow black. It's a fitting piece of nostalgia, showing that good old gas cars still have plenty of life left in them. But 50 years into the future, expect things to look very different.